This is your channel. You I know. Hello. hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to our channel. Hello. Luke. Oh, yes. Luke and Day. And for this video, we are going to talk about some fountain pens. Fountain pens, people. As you all know, that my husband is a fountain pen collector and he likes fountain pens. And so we are going to do that today. It seems like very interesting. Yeah. We're gonna compare and contrast three different pens at three different price points. Mm -hmm. uh, my cheapest pen, sort of mid-tier pen, and then my most expensive pen. I'm gonna talk about them a little bit, and then Day is gonna try them out and give her reaction. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So I will show you guys his pen case. Pen case that I bought um, for him on his birthday. And it looks like this. This is not everything he has uh, for the pen inside his bag. Yeah, yeah. Pencil How many fun? Wait, not yet. Okay, so we are going to try. That's the most expensive one, yes. The Visconti Homo sapiens something something. Yes. And we are going to try this one, the cheapest one. Mm -hmm. And I want to try. This is my favorite. This one here, the Falcon. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So can can I do this? Of course okay. you can. Go for it. So we are going to try, yeah, the Homo sapiens, the most expensive one, um, the cheapest one, and I want to try. Um, uh, okay, I want to try the recent one that he purchased. This one. The one. Okay. So what's okay. the name of this? This is the Momento Zero. He knows everything. Yeah, I should. Okay, so we are gonna try that one. Let's mm -hmm. let's take them out. I, All right. Okay, let's be talk about this one. Okay. Can we tell them how much is it? Um, I'll do that. I'll okay. take care of that. And that uh, a little bit about it. It's it's actually quite a strong pen, so don't worry about dropping this one. I think. And I want to try this one. All you right. Sir? Okay. So. So the first pen my wife will try is going to be the Platinum Preppy. It's a, a $5 pen, uh, although in Japan it's cheaper, more like $2 I guess. It's uh, completely made of plastic, it's got a steel nib, and it's uh, pretty basic in terms of what fountain pens can be. It writes really well, it's got a little sealing mechanism on the inside, it keeps the nib wet over time. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty bare bones, pretty basic. Five dollars? Yeah, more or less, yeah. Dollars. How much that is that in Japan? Actually, it's more like 260 yen, but in, it's cheaper in Japan because it's a Japanese pen. So in peso, it's like 200 or 150 pesos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of people's first fountain pen mm -hmm. because it's so accessible. And uh, it's pretty easy to customize too. You can buy a converter for it, which is like a little, like, vacuum. I put the picture thing, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. <laughs> Why am I struggling to I say know. what it is? I know what it is, right? Um, it's like a little chamber for ink that you just you can put any ink you want in it, and then you can use it as you like. Is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero? It looks really good. So uh, these pens are handmade in Italy. Uh, they are crafted from a single block of material and then milled from that block of material. Um, just pretty gorgeous nice. of it is, right? It looks, um, it looks pretty nice. It has um, a Bach nib, which is a German nib. And then what's special about mine is, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but um, what's special about this one is um, the nib was custom ground uh, to have an architect uh, grind, I suppose you could say. Um, so it, it gives like an interesting line variation to your handwriting. It Very looks cool. really good. Yeah. And it, it, it has, you, you can tell. Alright. Compared to the um, how much is that? This one was like one hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> uh, plus an extra twenty for the grind mm -hmm. because it's a custom grind. So I had to ask for it special. Is a re um, recent purchase this month? Yeah. It is quite a recent purchase. Uh, let me just show you the box because of course it, it's it's beautiful. A pen like this comes in a nice box because you need a bit more for it. And the presentation is kind of important and it's part of the experience. Where did they come from? Italy. Italy. Italy, yeah. Italy. So, boxes of cardboard sleeve, and the inside, I think this has something inside of it. Yes, it does. A booklet, and a nice little kind of bed for the pen to rest upon. Mm. 
It looks nice. Yeah, my presentation is important. You know? uh, th this is this this was along with my mid my not look right. That's right. It's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, and then the last one. Lastly, we have the Visconti Homo sapiens. This is the Mama Jamma. <laughs> The yeah, this is a $600 pen. Um, now, why would one buy a $600 pen? Well, $600 is um, 150000 Was it? Yes? It was $60,000. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know. So $60,000. Um, but as I was saying before my wife rudely interrupted me, a $600 pen is the kind of thing that lasts you a lifetime and that you pass down to me and your children and so on and so forth. Um, it is made of lava, basaltic lava uh, gathered from Mount Etna in Italy, mixed with a resin. I'm not entirely sure how they do that. Like, how could you mix molten rock with I don't know. resin, which is like a plastic? I don't know how they do it, but that's how they do it. Um, uh, the, the trim is bronze. Uh, it's really nice. Yeah, it's got an 18 karat gold nib. Um, I know I'm just showing the nib. So, this is the nib on a $600 pen. There we go, thanks, wife. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, we can show them closer in the I really. <laughs> uh, Sorry, folks. Um, but yeah, it's an 18 karat gold nib. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it is rose gold plated. So, um, it's considerably sort of smoother and more kind of bouncy than a steel nib would be. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Also, uh, in terms of like filling the pen, it has like a like a plunger inside of it. It's mm -hmm. called a vacuum filler or like a power filler. It holds a lot more ink than a standard pen. This is the heaviest that you have, right? It's quite heavy. It's, it's quite heavy. You can really tell. And like just to put it side by side, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. with the preppy, like there's a, a fairly you cannot, yeah, there's, a fair, there's like, no way. There's a fair size difference as well. Uh, and uh, also the box, when you pay for a, a pen like this, you get a much nicer box. Um, mine is a bit distressed from the, the shipment, but that's okay. that's okay. How long have you got this one with you? Six or seven months at this point, thank you. Okay. Um, comes with a it bunch of documentation. Pretty, yeah. It even comes with a polishing cloth for the bronze trim. So that you can keep it nice and shiny over time. I don't bother with that. I kind of like it looking dirty, mm -hmm. and uh, it has actually like quite quite a soft it's nice. material here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's do some writing with the pens. Yeah. Oh wait, this is a thirty thousand pesos pen. Cool. <laughs> That's uh, what I want to say. Yeah, they're sure. Do your thing. Yeah, of course, absolutely. So I'm. Um, you're gonna do some writing with the pen, and yes. and uh, you're gonna talk about what you think, I guess, and yeah, okay. feel. The differences like between the three. Oh, yeah, but before that, mm. why did you start collecting pens? Oh, when and why did you start collecting pens? Um, I think it was like I, I was finishing up a sketch in my sketchbook and I wanted to like write a note at the end of the sketch and I was like, I want a nice pen to do this with because I don't just want a writing instrument, I want an experience. And a really nice fountain pen is like an experience that you're working with, it's not just like something that puts ink on paper, it's it's very much like a quality experience and it, it is nice. Um, plus, you know, for myself, I like to write poetry with my pen and pens, oh, yeah. and having a nice pen to write a nice poem with is kind of, I don't know, it feels like significant somehow, I'm not entirely sure. And he always wanted this. Uh, like collect pens when you were a kid, right? Yeah, actually, bought, since... actually bought a few expensive yeah. pens as a child, and my classmates were always like, "What are you doing? You spent like 80, <laughs> 80 euros on a pen." Mm. Um, you know, they thought that was absurd, but I just I don't know. I'm, I'm drawn to that kind of stuff. I so like this is his like long time I don't know dream to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, when did you start collecting? Pens? I guess a year ago. Yeah, a year yeah. ago, and yeah. now he has seventeen. Which I, if you're asking why, do I just let him, you know? Yeah, of course, because he, he, he worked hard for it, he deserves it, and we never... And he is, it's his money. <laughs> well, in fairness, like, why do I let him, like... Yeah, because um, some other, like, some other wife would maybe, like, that's too expensive. It is expensive, it is, it does, 
But whenever he purchased stuff, he asked me first, right? Is yeah, this, well, I, I remember, is I remember it buying it first. Mm -hmm. He asked me, like, is this okay? It is okay. Okay, but just look here, I think I might do it anyway. Yeah, but you always ask me first though. Do yeah. you? Well, yeah, yeah, because I, do. I don't need to be like, like yeah. shocked, I suppose, or like overly surprised. I, I do appreciate that actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do some writing. Do some writing. Let's um, do it first with this. What's the name of this one? This Perfect. is the Platinum Perpy. Alrighty. Yo. Is this a screw one, yeah? No, it's a pull. A pull. A snap, pull? A snap cap. A snap cap. It's got a snap, snap cap. cap. Yeah. Like this. It's like that. Can you kill someone? Sorry. Can I kill someone? <laughs> You're not even recording, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do some. <laughs> Don't punch. Okay, so we're gonna do this. It looks like this. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's a pretty cool nib, I think it's kind of got a nice shape to it. Yeah, okay. Cheap one here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. I don't know what to say though. Ooh, wow, it's very smooth. There's a famous sentence that people write when they try pens. The quick brown fox, fox jumps jump over, over the lazy dog. Jumps over the lazy dog. The quick, yeah. Okay, well, the quick, what's that? The quick brown box. Yes. <laughs> the quick brown box. Jumps over. Over the lazy dog. It's called a pengram. It's a sentence that has every letter of the lazy alphabet dog. in it. Wow, okay, that's good. Mm. I like this one. Yeah, that, that, the cap on that one isn't amazing. It takes a little mm. bit of force to kind of get it on. I think that one. Okay. Um, Next, let's try the, the this one. The middle. The middle, the middle one. Okay. This, this is, is a screw. This is a screw cap. Yes. Okay. Screw means like you have to. Think you know it's screw. No. Oh, fair enough. Some of you don't. <laughs> it looks like this. Wow. Show them the nib from the side, like the, uh, the tipping. That one? Yeah. A little closer if you can. It has uh, what's called an architect grind. Oh, this one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. That means that um, the shape of the letters will be affected by the, uh, the tipping on the end of the nib. It is really beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Look at those colors. Yeah, I think maybe off a China. It's Italian, but I have got no idea what I'm doing. Look at that rose colors. Oh, it makes it look like marble color. Look at that. Just look at that. This one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It is really beautiful. I like this color. Okay, next. It's right mm, here. We have. <gasps> It's a lot of pink. Uh, I also have slightly fancier ink in this pen. In the last pen, it was just the standard supplied black ink cartridge. In this, I have KWZ blue black ink, which is vanilla scented. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. If you want, I'm gonna uh, put the um, the card. Wow, okay, this is a lot of ink. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cannot bring this. <laughs> it looks really beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, alright, alright. Let's see the most expensive one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really just. Mm, you cannot go wrong with this one. Look at that. Homo sapiens. Look at so actually, a couple of things. The uh, the clip is uh, modeled after the uh, Ponte del Vecchio bridge, and the idea is that it's like a metaphor for a bridge that connects, you know, people, mm -hmm. mankind. Cool. Um, yeah. Actually, this part here is attached by a magnet, so you can remove it and have it personalized. Ooh, cool. That's true. Yeah. 
whenever you like it's very easy it's very smooth wait um, i don't know how like, oh yeah there we go there yeah go. it's kind of springy it's, right yeah springy in, in a weird way so this is um one of visconti's patented designs it's called the hook safe lock threads it's uh, a way of capping and uncapping the pen that makes it especially it's secure nice and, and also um very easy and quick to uncap Sorry, what did you say? It, it says M. It says yeah. the size of the nib. Yes, that's right. It's a medium nib. Mm, okay. And this, um, of, the, of the three nibs you're trying today, this is the only gold nib you're trying. It's 18 karat gold. Um, so, let's see how you feel the difference. Look at that. It's really beautiful. It's like mesmerizing how beautiful it is. Okay, let's try. Wait, long, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Give it a second. Wait, yeah. then. Okay, there, there you go. go. Oh, nice color, man. Yeah, this is um, Hiroshizuku Shoro, uh, which is... Okay, so the name is meant to... It means like the dew on the leaves of the Matsu tree. So, uh, quite, a, quite an abstract, I guess, image. Rather, it's like the color of the dew on the leaves of the Matsu tree in Japan. Or so I believe. Yeah. It's basically teal. It is so. teal. I'm out of there. Wow, nice. Isn't it hard to write on camera? Yeah. Like my handwriting is not very good anyway, but like on camera it's even worse. Nice. It's beautiful in person and it's beautiful on camera. It's just so oh, modest. No, yeah, no. Wow. All right. All, right. All done. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of like, I guess we can stop recording that one. In terms of like, um, in the feel of the mm. pens, do you think there is a big enough difference in quality writing between the five dollar pen and the six hundred dollar oh, pen? Definitely. Justify. Oh, how Just so? The, if the, the the this one, mm -hmm. the most expensive one is just super smooth, mm -hmm. super smooth, and it's it's not rough because it's smooth. I don't know. Do yeah. you know rough is the opposite of smooth? The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is really good. Like, mm, although it is quite big, I have like kind of thin, thin um, fingers. Slender fingers. Slender. Yeah, but it's 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 good. Although the thing is, if you're not really into this kind of thing, right? And like him is really keen into I don't know this stuff, you can really just wow. But me, I'll be like for um, what do you call this thing for a amateur. <laughs> so, <laughs> Someone is kind of yeah. Kind of You'll be like, wow, just wow. Mm, nice. Although I like this one too. The uh, the blue one, this one there? Mm -hmm. mm, you can also tell that very smooth. The preppy one is just like a normal kind of pen mm -hmm. that you can bring it anywhere and just leave it. Just not not leave it, but like the, the kind of pen that they put in the counter and like let people use. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, personally, what I'm paying for, I think, or I feel like I'm paying for is like how long I think I'll have the pen for. Like, the Homo sapiens should last for decades, I think, you know, as long as I take good care of it. Whereas the preppy, I might expect, you know, maybe it'll crack after a while or mm -hmm. I might lose it. Even now, right? You can tell that the ink. I don't know what you prepped, Sorry? Like, the inks are out. Like, are those ink? That, that is ink, yeah. Mm. But that's intentional. Oh, that's this part of the design, yeah. Okay. Well, mm. this is it? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. okay. Mm. Well, if you are interested in this kind of stuff, like, and he also makes bones, mm -hmm. lots of bones, you can check out his channel if you want, if you're interested in those kind of things. Yeah. So I'm, I make two videos a week mm. on Saturday nights. I make. Um, Very consistent. Yeah. Very yeah, consistent. Yeah, yeah. So on Saturday nights, uh, I upload a poem. It's usually like a six or seven minute video. I just write a poem with no talking. And then at the end of the video, I write, read the poom out loud. ASMR. 
ASMR, hashtag ASMR. It's really nice. And um, on Sundays then I make like a more like talking head style video, just talking about pens, uh, or like reviewing a pen, or a pen related product like a notebook or an ink. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good time. It's a pretty good time. It's, so it's, it's interesting, if you are into it, you know. Yeah, and the channel's actually growing as well. I, I broke 130 mm. subs recently, so that's, that's kind of cool. From yeah. zero, zero. Well, you know, that's how all yeah. YouTube channels start, of course, but it's, it's been nice. It's been okay, well, thank you again, people. Check out his channel if you are into it. And thank you for... What do you call this? Watching? Watching. <laughs> for watching, that's it for this video, and I hope you like it. And if you want us to have this kind of videos, again, comment down below if you have any questions. <laughs> Just tell us, ask us, anything you want. Bye! Bye, babe.